Good evening. Your children are going to be taught math differently. The Ford government is rewriting the curriculum. Making the announcement here at Queen's Park today, just as the latest set of EQAO results show, math scores are falling again. The PCs are blaming the previous Liberal government for the drop. And across every grade that EQAO tests, the math results are disappointing. Here are the latest test scores that give a snapshot of students' math abilities. In grade three, 58 percent met the provincial math standard, which is a B. That's down four percent from the previous three-year average. Grade six reflects a new low. Only 48 percent met the provincial standard, down one percent from last year. Meanwhile, 84 percent of grade nine students in the academic course met the standard, while only 44 percent of those in applied did. I think the system overall is not meeting the needs of parents, uh, educators and kids themselves. The education minister says the government is investing $200 million in a new math strategy, with $55 million flowing this school year for extra teacher training and online tutoring. Curriculum reforms will be announced in the spring. Stephen Lecce blames the previous Liberal government's discovery math for failing to teach the basics. The EQA report released today noted research shows students in grades three and six understand the fundamentals but struggle to apply them. What the report makes clear is that we've seen a continuation of progressive systematic decline in results from the implementation of discovery math. What we heard from the consultation we launched, the broader one that we did uh, in the spring under my predecessor, was that they want parents wanted, and there's research to underpin this, going back to basics as a method of teaching. What's not clear, though, is if there is a direct correlation between students' overall grades and the EQAO results. How do they actually correlate to actual pass or fail on report cards? Um, that is a fair question. I, I'm not best positioned to talk, to, to answer it. I think we can get back to you, Cynthia, on the correlation between that. Now, the Ford government is also announcing mandatory math tests for new teachers as they graduate. They must get a 70 or they won't be allowed to teach in the classroom. And this announcement today about the math curriculum is getting a lot of criticism from the opposition. The NDP, for example, says the solution is not to fire math teachers and calls for an end to what it says is outdated standardized testing. And the Green Party is accusing the Ford government of causing alarm over math to distract from the other harm that the Ford government is doing in other areas of education.